हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ पावर सिस्टम टू सब्जेक्ट दिस इज असरा सुल्ताना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ट्रिपली डिपार्टमेंट सो टुडे इज द लास्ट क्लास ऑफ यूनिट 5 इन पीएस2 सब्जेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी जंक्शन ऑफ थ्री लाइंस ऑफ डिफरेंट नेचुरल इंफ्लुएंसेस ब्यूलेस ब्यूले लैटिस डायग्राम लेट अस सी टुडेस क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट ब्यूले लैटिस डायग्राम सो दिस इज अ कन्वीनिएंट डायग्राम व्हिच इज डिवाइज्ड बाय ब्यूले which shows that at a glance the position and direction of motion of every incident reflected and transmitted wave on the system at every instant of time so we can see the position of incident wave reflected wave and transmitted wave at at, an, at any instant at a glance okay so with this diagram the diagram overcomes the difficulty of otherwise keeping the track of multiple multiplicity of successive reflections at the various junctions let us consider a transmission line whose having a resistance of r inductance l conductance g and capacitance c all are per unit lengths okay we are taking all per unit values here we are considering a transmission line which is having a resistance r length l and conductance g capacitance c if gamma is the propagation constant of the transmission line and e is the magnitude of the voltage surge at the sending end then the magnitude and phase of the wave as it reaches any section distance from x from the sending end is given as ex equal to e e minus x minus of plus j x minus x minus j x x gamma alpha beta alpha beta so here e is representing the attenuation in the length of the line x e power minus j is representing the phase angle change in the line of length x therefore attenuation constant of the line in neper per kilometer phase angle constant of the line is radians per kilometer it is common for an attenuation factor k to be defined corresponding to the length of a particular line that is k equal to e for a line of length l when a voltage surge of magnitude unity reaches a junction between two sections with surge impedances z1 and z2 then a part is transmitted and a part is deflected back in, tra in traversing the second line if the attenuation factor is k then on reaching the termination at the end of the second line its amplitude could be reduced lattice diagram may now be constructed as follows set the ends of the lines at intervals equal to the time of transit of each line if a suitable time scale is chosen then the diagonals on the diagram will show the passage of the waves so we are considering here surge impedances as z1 and z2 whenever a voltage surge of magnitude uh, unity that means one magnitude as one reaches a junction between two sections having a surge impedances of z1 and z2 then a part will be transmitted and part will be reflected back so in traversing the second line if the attenuation factor is k then on reaching the termination of the uh, at the end of the second line its amplitude will be reduced so lattice diagram may now be constructed as follows <coughs> set the ends of the lines at intervals equal to the time of transit of each line if a suitable time scale is chosen then diagonals on the diagram will show the passage of the waves in uh, bule lattice diagram following properties are existing first one is all waves should travel downhill because time always increases second is position of any wave at any time can be deduced directly from the diagram third one is total potential at any point at any instant of time is the superposition of all the waves which have arrived at that point up until that instant of time displaced in position from each other by intervals equal to the difference in the time of arrival so history of the wave is easily traced it is possible to find where it came from and just what other waves went into this uh, into its composition attenuation is included so that the wave arriving at the far end of a line corresponds to the value entering multiplied by the attenuation factor of the line so this lattice diagram shows at a glance the position and direction of motion of every incident incident wave reflected wave and transmitted wave on the system at every instant of time so providing that the system of the lines is not too complex difficulty of keeping track of the multiplicity of successive reflection is simplified as a first example let us consider the case of an open circuited line having following parameters resistance is 0.5 ohms per kilometer conductance is 10 into 10 power minus 7 simons per kilometer length is 400 kilometer 
assume also that rc equal to gl this condition results in a distortionless line and the voltage and current waves will remain of similar shape in spite of attenuation in such a line it can be shown that if a wave of amplitude a at any point of the line the amplitude ax at some point distance x from the original point is equal to ax equal to a into e power minus ax for the distortionless line attenuation constant is given as alpha equal to root rg that is root of 0.5 into 10 into 10 power minus 7 that is 0 0.00707 when x equal to 1 that is uh, when x equal to l equal to 400 kilometer e power minus 0 0.2828 is 0 0.7536 so its impedance is 0 and r equal to 0 minus zc1 by zc1 plus 0 that is minus 1 e and i incident waves with respect to the source at the receiving end, the line is open circuited and T equal to plus 1. Let us denote the initial value of the voltage at the sending end by 1 per unit. Then we will have the following sequence of events as far as the reflected wave is concerned. Let T dash be the time taken to make one or tour of the line that is 400 by 3 into 105 0 time a wave of amplitude 1 starts from G. At time t dash, a wave of amplitude 0.7536 reaches the open end and a reflected wave of amplitude 0.7536 commences the return journey. At time 2t dash, this reflected wave is attenuated to 0.5679 and has reached G. Here it is reflected to minus 0.5679 and after a time 3t dash, it reaches the open end attenuated to minus 0.428. It is then reflected and reaches G after a time 40 dash with an amplitude of minus 0.3225. It is then reflected with change of sign thus starting with an amplitude of 0.3225 and so on. Billy lattice diagram is a space time diagram with space measured horizontally and time vertically and the lattice of the above example is shown in the figure. Final voltage at the receiving end is the sum to infinity of all such increments and above example it is 2 into 0.7536 minus 0 0.428 plus and so on. It is simpler to express the series generally in terms of alpha. So we are writing this as 2 into alpha minus alpha cube plus alpha power 5 minus alpha power 7 plus and so on. That is equal to 2 alpha by 1 plus alpha square. So in the given values are substituted in the above equation its value will become 0.9613. Thus, even when open circuited, such line gives a far end voltage less than the sending end voltage, and the reason being that the shunt conductance current produces a drop in the series resistance. So, this is the lattice diagram for line with attenuation. We can see here uh, this is 0.7536, then 0.5619, then minus 0.5679 at time 2d dash, then it is becoming minus 0.428. Then minus 0.3225, 40 dash, 5t dash, 0.2431. Sending and reflection operation is minus 1. Receiving and reflection operator is plus 1. So, Buehler's lattice diagram from which the motion of reflected and transmitter wave and their position at every instant can be obtained. It overcomes the difficulty of keeping track of the multiplicity of successive reflections at the various junction. So we have seen attenuation factor alpha. It is defined corresponding to the length of the particular line that is alpha equal to e power minus attenuation constant into length of the line. Propagation constant gamma equal to root zy. Search impedance and velocity of propagation we have seen L is the inductance, C is the capacitance. The surge impedance zc equal to root L by C. Velocity of propagation V equal to 1 by root LC meter per second L is 2 into 10 power minus 7 log D by R C equal to 2 pi epsilon log D by R. Reflection and refraction coefficient. There is a proportionality between voltage and current. Consider the junction between the lines or between the line and a cable of characteristics impedance Z1 and Z2. So incoming voltage wave, uh, wave or step function surge of amplitude is V. Incoming current wave is I. Reflected voltage at point of discontinuity is V1 and uh, current is I1. Let transmitted or reflected voltage is V1 dash. So this, uh, let the transmitted or refracted current is uh, I1 dash. So at the point of discontinuity between the lines or cables having a surge impedances are Z1, Z2. So we are determining V1 in terms of alpha. Applying KVL and KCL, V1 dash is V plus V1 and I1 dash is I minus I1. 
because the reflected wave has negative sign so v1 dash by z2 z2 is v1 by v by z1 minus v1 by z1 substituting v1 dash so v v plus v1 by z2 equal to v minus v1 by z1 v1 if you take common 1 by z2 plus 1 by z1 equal to v if i take common then it will become 1 by z1 minus 1 by z2 so v1 we are getting as z2 minus z1 by z1 plus z2 into v a v or alpha v we can say alpha is reflection coefficient now we are determining uh, transmitted voltage v1 dash in terms of v so v1 dash is v plus v1 or v1 we can write as v1 dash minus v i1 dash is i minus i1 so we are going to get the value of v1 dash as bv v is nothing but refraction coefficient v1 dash is b into v whereas v1 is a into v so when we see the relation between a and b 1 plus a equal to 1 plus z2 minus z1 by z1 plus z2 that is 2 z2 by z1 plus z2 equal to b transmitted or refracted current i1 dash is given as i minus i1 that is v by z1 minus v1 by z1 substituting the value of v1 in this we are going to get the value as 2 z1 by z1 plus z2 into i refracted current i1 is minus v1 by z1 substitute the value of v1 i1 will become minus alpha i then we have seen line terminated with natural impedance or surge impedance reflection and refraction or a transmission at a t junction consider a line with natural impedance z1 connected to two different lines with surge impedance z1 and z z z2 z1 z2 z3 so we got this one as um, uh, i2 dash refracted or transmitted currents i2 dash and i3 dash as 2v by z1 z2 into 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 plus 1 by z3 for i2 dash it is z1 z2 for i3 dash it is z1 z3 then we knew few numericals are there important all these numericals are important students how to draw the Buellus lattice diagram when a uh, when a voltage surge of magnitude unity reaches a junction between two sections with surge impedance z1 and z2 then a part a is reflected and a part b is reflected back so in, tra in tra traversing the second line on reaching the termination at the end of second line it, its amplitude is alpha into b so at the ends of the line at intervals equal to the time of transit of each line if a suitable time scale is chosen then the diagonals on the lattice diagram show the passage of the waves properties of uh, lattice diagram all waves travel downhill because time always increases position of any wave at any time can be deduced directly from the diagram total potential at any instant of time is the superposition of all waves which arrive at that point until the instant of time displaced in position from each other by time intervals equal to the time difference of their arrival attenuation is included so that the wave arriving at the far end of the line corresponding to the value entering multiplied by the attenuation factor alpha so open ended uh, line open-ended transmission line of surge impedance z so z1 is z z2 is infinity reflection coefficient at the receiving end alpha equal to z2 minus z1 by z2 plus z1 that is divide the numerator by z2 denominator by z2 so that is z2 by z2 become 1 1 minus z1 by z2 by 1 plus z1 by 1 plus z1 by z2 that is 1 minus z by infinity divided by 1 plus 1 by infinity equal to 1 so we are drawing this lattice diagram here 0 t 2 t 3 t 4 t 5 t okay values we are writing here a1 uh, a1 alpha alpha square alpha cube alpha power 4 alpha alpha power 5 so uh, how to draw this assume 2 is the time taken for a wave to travel from one end to the end of line and alpha is the attenuation factor Assume amplitude is unity. Whenever time is equal to 0, magnitude is plus 1. Wave is attenuated and reaches that T with magnitude plus 1, in, plus 1 into alpha that is equal to plus alpha. At time capital T, wave is reflected and the amplitude is plus alpha into alpha that is, that is plus alpha. And the wave is again attenuated and reaches at 2T with magnitude alpha square. At time 2t wave is reflected and the amplitude is alpha square into minus alpha that is minus alpha square and the wave is again attenuated and reaches at 3t with magnitude minus alpha cube. 
so at time 3t wave is reflected and the amplitude is minus alpha cube into alpha that is minus alpha cube and the wave is attenuated and reaches as 40 with magnitude minus alpha 4 and so on so voltage at the receiving end will be 2 into alpha minus alpha cube plus alpha power 5 plus and so on alpha power 2n minus 1 into u of t that is v infinity at infinity time v infinity equal to 2 alpha by 1 plus alpha square into u of t Current at the receiving at i infinity is v infinity by z. Disruptive, disruptive discharge voltage is defined as a voltage which produces the loss of dielectric strength of an insulation. It is that voltage at which the electrical stress in the insulation causes a failure which includes the collapse of voltage and passage of current. Here we have seen a numerical. A long transmission line is energized by a unit step voltage of 10 volt, uh, 1.0 volt at the sending end and it is open circuited at the receiving end. Construct the Brule lattice diagram and obtain the value of the voltage at the receiving end after a long time. Take the attenuation factor alpha is 0 0.9. Let us see the solution. For the open circuited at the receiving end, let the time of travel is 1 unit. At the receiving end, reflection coefficient alpha is infinity minus z by infinity plus z that is equal to 1.0. At the sending end, reflection coefficient alpha dash is 0 minus z by 0 plus z that is minus 1.0. Voltage at the receiving end is 2 alpha by 1 plus alpha square into u of t that is 0.995 u of t. Short circuited line. So lattice diagram we are drawing here. 0, t, 2t, 3t, 4t, 5t, 6t. Writing the values of alpha that is for here is 1, 0.9, alpha square, alpha cube, alpha power 4, alpha, alpha power 5 and so on. Thank you everyone for watching the video. So students we have uh, completed all 5 units of our system to subject. Go through all the previous year's papers, all the notes which I have given you in the WhatsApp group. Practice the numerical, some uh, notes, some textbook also you practice. So two textbooks you follow, power systems by CL Vadva and uh, power system by VK Mehta also you can follow. So this is a uh, core subject students, power systems. So uh, after this we will see switch gear and protection subject. Then power system operation and control next semester, SGP and PSOC. So all these subjects are power system subjects. Uh, so if you have any doubts in all five units, you can ask me. Prepare well, well for the exams. Give your attendance in comment section. Thank you everyone for watching the video.